So we finally get the continuation of the Dragon Ball Super story after the superhero movie. And in this first chapter, Beerus makes a decision on who he would appoint as the next God of Destruction. And surprisingly, it's Goku. He tells Goku, once you're stronger than me, I'll nominate you as the next God of Destruction. Goku responds by telling Beerus, that job's not for me. This is really interesting because let's just get the elephant out of the room right away. It felt like Beerus was grooming Vegeta to become God of Destruction. Vegeta now even has his own Hakai form, Ultra Ego, and has been using Destruction Energy. Beerus even gave Vegeta a God of Destruction earring. Meanwhile, it felt like Whis was grooming Goku for a more angelic role. But Beerus still chooses Goku over Vegeta as his preference for the next God of Destruction. And it's not like Beerus forgot about Vegeta either. In an earlier chapter, Beerus suggests to Vegeta that maybe he could become the God of Destruction candidate of another universe. So let's hop into why this is significant. And I promise you, if you are a Dragon Ball Super fan, you'll find this interesting. Beerus isn't choosing Goku because of strength. In fact, in Universe 7 right now, Goku is no longer the strongest. Some people aren't going to want to hear this, but let's just be honest. Ultra Instinct Goku was one-shotted by Black Frieza. He was defeated by Granola. And the series has been making it clear that Beast Gohan has surpassed Goku in strength. Let's not forget Broly, who they had to fuse to take down. And to be honest, at this point, even Orange Piccolo may give Goku a run for his money. So what Beerus is looking for in his replacement as God of Destruction isn't just strength, because there are others who are stronger than Goku currently and have shown themselves to have more potential. But this is where things get interesting, guys. This is the part of the video that I'm excited to talk about. Beerus and Goku share a unique quality that we haven't seen from anyone else in the entire series, regardless of strength. Do you know what that quality is? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Both Beerus and Goku can use the powers of angelic and Hakai energy. Remember that God Key has two sides. The side that the angels and the Kais use, you can call this creation energy. This angelic power is at the core of Ultra Instinct. That's one side of God Key, while the other side is destruction power. Now in the anime of Dragon Ball Super, we've never seen Goku use Hakai energy, although he did withstand it. But in the manga, he used it against Zamasu. In a similar fashion, we've never seen Beerus use Ultra Instinct in the anime, but he did use it in the manga against the other gods of destruction. Although he used it, Beerus clearly struggled with maintaining Ultra Instinct, which raises the question, if this is something none of the other gods of destruction can do currently, why would Beerus even waste his time trying to learn Ultra Instinct? Let's leave that there for a second. Everything we've been talking about so far has been fact, but I want you to venture off into speculation with me for a little bit. What if Beerus knows something that we don't? What if he knows that if you can master Angelic Key and Destruction Key at the same time, you will achieve something incredible? If that was Beerus' goal, if Beerus understood that, it would make sense for him to put in the time to struggle and learn Ultra Instinct. It would also make sense, and here's where it gets a little bit crazy, it would also make sense for him not to take the God of Destruction role very seriously because it would just be a means to an end and coincidentally being a terrible god of destruction being lazy sleeping all the time has been one of the traits of beerus since he's been introduced in the dragon ball universe it seems like all the other gods of destruction take their role very seriously while beerus just kind of sleeps and ignore his duties most of the time and that is because being an effective god of destruction isn't his goal what does beerus know that the other God of Destruction do not. I believe that Beerus's real goal is the mastery of both sides of God Key. And he may be in a place where he doesn't even know if it's possible for him. But then here comes Goku, who is the only other person in the series to show that he is capable of using both sides of God Key, like Beerus. I believe ultimately Beerus wants Goku to get stronger than him to observe what it looks like to master Ultra Instinct from scratch and potentially see what happens when this combined power is used by a single being. This is why 
even though Goku is focused on Ultra Instinct right now, on mastering Ultra Instinct, which is angelic power, Beerus would recommend him to become God of Destruction, which is destruction power, because he already knows Goku can use it and he can master it while being a candidate for God of Destruction, like Topo or Vegeta. In that case, if Goku did become God of Destruction, he would have had to master Ultra Instinct to get stronger than Beerus, for him to nominate him and master Hakai energy during his candidateship. Both of these powers combined is the power I've been calling Supreme Instinct. And I don't wanna get too speculatory here, but I believe that this is the power that is above even the angels. It's the power that allows the people above the angels to keep the angels in check. It's why the God of Destruction and the angels have such strict rule because Supreme Instinct exists if they choose to get out of line. I thought the first time we were going to see this was when Goku and Vegeta fuse after achieving their new forms. But it seems like Goku may be getting primed to achieve this power on his own. Let's be honest, I think this ties perfectly into where the story is going currently for a few reasons. One is, it's not often that Goku isn't the strongest Z warrior, and right now he simply isn't. Broly and Gohan are stronger than him, and he even had his first loss to Vegeta. We are not too far away from another Goku transformation. What if that power up is the mastery of both sides of God Key, Supreme Instinct, the complete power of the gods? Anyway, that's it. If you made it this far in the video, hashtag Supreme Goku in the comments below. And let me know what you guys think. Why do you think Beerus is willing to recommend Goku over Vegeta for the role of God of Destruction? Do you guys think that it's just a coincidence that Beerus and Goku are the only two people in the series so far who have been shown to be able to use both sides of God Key? I'm legitimately curious, so please let me know your thoughts below. Guys, that's it for me. I want you guys to do me a favor. Have yourself the best day you possibly can keep working towards the things that are important to you i love you guys thank you for all the support i will be talking to you again as soon as i can bye